When I published a motorcycle travel video on my trip to Norway, my friends asked me when I was going to do one on California. For this video, I put together a road trip which will make anyone, motorcycle rider or not, get some feel-good vibes. I live in the San Francisco Bay Area and so naturally my trip would start here. My plan was to ride south, covering both seriously curvy roads and scenic routes, with some fun stops along the way. I started the trip at Alice's Restaurant located on Skyline Boulevard in Woodside. Alice's is a local gathering spot for motorcycle riders and car drivers. You can frequently see some really cool rides there. I headed down on Skyline Boulevard towards Highway 9. The name of the road fits well, as it is one of few places where you can see the Pacific Ocean and the San Francisco Peninsula at the same time. I turned right onto Highway 9. Highway 9 is a popular route and goes through Big Basin Redwood State Park. Redwood trees are some of the largest trees in the world and can live for thousands of years. To spice things up a bit, I turned right at Boulder Creek on the Big Basin Highway for a real roller coaster ride. You turn left at the house with funny looking garden figures. Whoever lives there always seems to swap them out for something new. While the redwood trees are cool to look at from the ground, there is a way more fun way to see them zip lining. With redwood canopy tours you can soar among the trees for 2 hours. It's a seriously good time, just don't be afraid of heights. You'll be flying at up to 150 feet or 45 meters above the ground. Continuing down south, I headed on to Highway 1. Highway 1 runs along the Pacific coastline and is probably one of the most scenic routes in the world. I continued along Highway 1 and stopped at Ragged Point to spend the night. Tomorrow I was going to head to a town founded by a group of Danes looking for sunshine. It's usually foggy in the mornings along the coast, but to my surprise there was no fog and completely clear skies. I stopped to see some elephant seals chill on the beach. They sure seem to like taking it easy. Can you guess how much the biggest ones weigh? Some of the biggest ones weigh up to 9,000 pounds or 4,000 kilograms and can get up to 20 feet or 6 meters long. I continued south heading towards Solvang. Solvang was founded by a group of Danes in 1911 who wanted to establish a Danish community far away from cold snowy weather. The architecture of the city center follows a traditional Danish style, and the bakeries and restaurants contain all the Danish cuisine you could imagine. I didn't come here only for the cuisine. There is a great motorcycle museum located in the city center. This museum has some of the coolest vintage motorcycles you could ever want to see, including a Britain V1000,
Harley-Davidson's from the early 1900s, a Yamaha TC700 from 1974, just like the one Giacomo Agostini won the Daytona 200 on. Now this is a place you can get stuck in for a long time. After having dragged myself out of the museum, I headed towards Surfrider Hotel in Malibu. While folks were out surfing the waves, I'm a land mammal, so I headed out to surf some of the best motorcycle roads around. I stopped by at the Rock Store, similar type of place to Alice's up north. Anyone who rides the canyons usually stops here to check out some rides and have a chat. This is of course also where the famous Mohond Highway is located. I spent the rest of the day riding all the epic roads in the area. Tomorrow I was heading out on an epic mountain ride. This morning turned out to be seriously foggy and I rode over the Malibu mountains almost blindfolded. Looking up, the sky looked seriously cloudy. This might mean trouble as my ride through the mountains was going to be very long. But as I got further away from the coast, the fog became less dense and all of a sudden the skies were clear and the sun was shining on me. I was heading towards Highway 33 between OJ and Ventucupa. The road is really fun to ride and the scenery is truly breathtaking. I stopped at Morro Bay to spend the night, where a big 576-foot volcanic plug called Morro Rock is located. Tomorrow, I was going to head out on another roller coaster ride, connecting Highway 1 with Central California. The day started out really foggy, and I was heading up north up Highway 1 towards Nascimento Ferguson Road. This is a seriously windy road going through the mountains and through forests with rivers and some great camping spots. got out on Highway 25 for a last scenic ride on the way back to the San Francisco Bay Area. There are many more epic rides around California. I will certainly cover some of them in the future. Remember to subscribe to my channel. There are always new places to visit.